Smashville. Nightmare on Smashville? It's on the 20th, on Monday. Oh, okay, so it, like, you go to Japan Fair, man, you weep out. It's not just a tournament. You weep, you weep out, and then, and then you go to, yeah, and they got the Okamoto truck, I'm sure. Yeah, it's I'm always there. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like literally it. everything, yeah. It's a, it's a staple <laughs> at this point. <laughs> All right. This is the run back. Yeah. This is the run back. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, in uh, pools, right? Yeah. So, I know his name is Loot Bray, but I like to call him Love Bray. Sorry, <laughs> but I'll call him Love Bray. <laughs> All right. So. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, where's the tooling? Where's, where's the tooling? Oh, yeah. Toon Link. not winning. Everyone's talking about Toon Link. Well, Gal maybe he went Toon Link in, uh, in pools. I, I don't know. I didn't watch the set. But we got loser semis here. Lumbre did get the W over Goblin earlier in the bracket. Not sure what the set count was, but it looks like Goblin's coming back with a vengeance right now. Lumbre is always so seen to make sure when he comes back on the stage. Whatever is into an obstacle, he finds a way around it. We saw with the size set, and then we saw with the DJ Thunder. Okay. Six is an obstacle. Has make sure there's a way to come back. But Goblin's gonna close up the gap here a little bit further than four times. Yeah, literally closing the gap using the pivot cancel F tilt to close the distance quickly and effectively taking that stock. Lubre not too far behind right here, forcing an air dodge to the ledge from Goblin. Okay. Back at the ledge right here. He took him coast to coast, man. He's spacing these backers perfectly, right? Goblin unable to punish those. And again, man, left, right, left, and he gets the back air, takes the stop. Dude, Lumbre just did not get touched that entire yeah. stop. That must have been really tough for Goblin to actually deal with the fact that he's going to gain the the way he is here. That's crazy, man. Lumbre, Lumbre's a real one. I'm telling you, he has the check, too. I've seen it before, and not only that, it's, it comes back to, like, his on-stage and return to stage play. It's really big here. Yeah. Super crucial. Especially against Fighting the Floor. Lumbre is on it, honestly, he's a player from the IE. You know, the IE has come so far. Yeah. Used to, it used to be Don't Slay by the IE, the meme. Now it's I like. Respect I respect the IE. I really like. Lumbre is one of my favorite players. I think he's super up and coming. Like, I believe in this guy's potential for sure. Yeah. And so far, I mean, for Goblin, right, to hopefully always see if he can make the rollback, it's going to be interesting to see what he can actually find in his revenge. All right. I mean, the percent difference looks big, but I mean. This is actually a pretty pretty even game right here. The way Lumbre's playing very carefully, mixing up his movement, air dodging to the ledge, making sure he gets there safely. Yeah. The one thing that we did see Lumbre, like I said, right, make sure he has a way come, to come back on the stage by getting rid of obstacles. The reason for this is because Roy, when he has you on the sides of the stage, more tilt, side B, you name it, there are so many moves and so many ways to die against Roy because of his raw percent like that with a fadeaway back air. You, you kind of have to respect it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. He's trying to set up the ledge trap. That was pretty good because it, it got a little bit of damage. I mean, he could have... Oh, let it go. Yeah. He's gone. All right. I was, I was going to talk about the ledge trap that happened on the left-hand side, <laughs> and then he already ledge trapped and took the KO on the right-hand side. I'm telling you, Lumbre is moving too quick. His brain is too fast. He's taking him around. Oh. He's showing oh, him. Yeah, he's showing up around. He's yeah, he's showing him. He's taking him to the streets of the IE. He's like, hold on, man. You're in my block now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude, because yeah. main stage was in Ontario. Yeah, was. The actual IE, that's hype. Oh, all right, back throw right here. I like that. Low oh. percent. Yo. He just took this man to Ontario. He took him back. <laughs> <laughs> he took him back to Ontario. He was like, yo, man, did you like main stage? Let's go back. Oh. Well, well, welcome to the IE, right. fam. Welcome Lo to my block. Loomber. I mean, I really love that play at the end because he went for the low percent back throw, right? You got yeah. him at the ledge. He went low percent, put him off stage. And that actually scared uh, Goblin into air dodging back towards yeah. the stage. And, and uh, Lumbre just actually on reaction maneuvered the PK Thunder back on to himself and, and caught the air dodge. So and you have to think about the time he's PK. Covers so many options. L uh, sorry, Lumbre yeah. <laughs> used uh, PK Thunder each time around against, against Goblin, right? The one time that he didn't use it a couple of times against Goblin, come back on stage, right? To kind of mix him up a little bit there. But the one time he mixed him up so perfectly was when it really mattered on the stock here. And we'll see how uh, if Lumbre can actually continue to demonstrate the power he has over Goblin or Goblin finally here get a game. That's what I want to see from oh, Goblin is to right. fight back. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew it went far, but I was actually surprised that he made it back on that one. Oh, what a read, catching the roll in and uh, at, at hitting least, that forward smash. See, and the thing about there is that Goblin was really ready for the, the tech chase opportunity, and instead he kind of held himself back. But unfortunately, the down smash was caused the range that Roy did to suffer to come out to play. Yeah, he, 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 this
this is an aggressiveness, man. He, did, he does not slow down. He loses a stock, but I'm like, hey, I already did all the damage. I just got to hit you with one of these setups. Put you at the ledge, and you're mine. Yeah. Looking like Joker. Sounding like Joker. I yeah. I mean, yeah. PK Fire and Aegon are kind of similar. Yeah, that's nah. true. <laughs> all right, Goblin here. I like that. Looks for the spacing again because he knows how important that is. But Lumbre, we talked about a game one, right? Every time he comes back on the stage, he wants to make sure Roy is not at the ledge to get that edge guard because he knows how crucial it is when he spaces out those four tilts or the, or the side B. Okay, Lumbre holding on to his dear life right here. Gets a little bit of edge damage and pops Goblin up with that up B. But he's back at the ledge again. Okay, good back situation air. for him. Yeah, just barely misfaces it. Okay, Chase. Lumbre, Lumbre was definitely a little bit feeling the heat on that pet case. Or oh. I talked about it. A thousand ways to die oh. from Roy, and Lumbre knows he's a little bit too far. He would have not probably made it back. Did he? Just, do you think he maneuvered that just to try to hit uh, Goblin because he just knew he was dead? Just to cheese him the last yeah. second, too. Just get him some extra da damage. Oh. Up. He knows how that works <laughs> because your opponent's opportunity and their first reaction is to air dodge away from you. All right. I'm starting to wonder, man. If they do do, do uh, does Goblin got any nest mains back where he's from? Well, one, one from uh, Florida. <laughs> Florida got any nest mains? Going? I don't think. I feel like they don't. Hey, don't get me wrong. They, oh, okay. okay. About that spacing. I don't know. Down tilt, nice. I wonder if that F tilt would have killed it again right there. Oh, there it yeah, is. There there it is. is. He set it up. He got the extra hit. Try to unsteal it. And then. Uh, Oh my gosh. All right. Even said, that was a really. I, oh, my heart is shaking from but, that one, dude. But we're, we're going to come back to how game one went for, for, for Lumber. Right? Yeah. It's the fact that, like, he got rid of that obstacle that was Roy being on the ledge, forward tilt, sliding forward tilt, back air, um, double ledge dance. Those three things there at the ledge for Roy are such a big play that Lumbre took the opportunity to get rid of him. When I try to come back on the stage with the way that uh, Goblin started abandoning his spacing, it did not work out well for Lumbre. We'll see how things can go here. Starts off with PK Fire and immediate 51%. Oh, back here him again. Ah, oh, he misses the second one. But still, solid amount of damage for Lumbre to start off this game. Really like the patience, fading to the uh, corner, trying to see if he can get Goblin to come back in. All right, after doing that, then he rolls twice into him. So, I'll take it back. PK Thunder, yeah, he'll be fine. Nice, using the side style, slowly come back on the stage. Lumber kind of has to slow his roll here at the ledge because that's the one thing that, look at that spacing. Yeah. He's, it's already becoming a threat, so Lumber kind of has to slowly ease himself back into the middle. That roll, that was one thing that Goblin caught last game. Yeah. And this is the level of adaptation you want to see from your PGR players. Number 38 on the PGR, Goblin just setting up that ledge tap over and over again. Nice, slows himself with the back air. Nice. Back throw right here. Even if it doesn't take the KO, he's got the potential edge guard. <laughs> I like how he snuck in that forward smash there, knowing that the, he was going to be around the ledge. Yeah. Nice, okay. Falling with a fair, getting some jabs, and the up smash on the way up. Really good coverage from Yo, Lumbre. Did, did you just hear that scream from Roy? I'm so <laughs> yeah, he like really felt the pain there. I'm I never heard that one before. Oh man! So I saw, but he, unfortunately, the parry from Goblin will deny any positive in that combo. Okay, both players just dashing in and out. Oh, he tries to get him with the PK Fire Cheese. Oh. Nice. Okay. All right, Lumbrish moving. Yep. Back, back throw, throw right here. Wow. PK Flash. Not a move you see often, but you see that forcing the immediate yep, reaction and actually setting up for him to get the forward air off stage. Damn. I feel like that PK Flash might have been a simple, but hey, man, if you want to go for something that cheesy, I don't blame him, and he barely gets away from the sweet spot of the forward smash. I mean, I don't think it was a misinput, to be, to be perfectly honest. I Like, the way it was spaced and timed, like, he could have very easily got that uh, get up with it. Or even, I don't know if it catches two frames, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's, it's massive, right? All right, well. The one thing you gotta ask the question here is how big of a lead does Lumbre want here? Back throw. PK fire, PK back throw, off stage bait. Not gonna kill because you know Lumbre wants to make sure he holds up to the ledge. Hey, put Goblin in a really bad spot nonetheless. Yeah. All right. Yep. 
Nice, all right, and that will confirm into very late percents jab to back air. Roy's got it, and he's back in the game. 68% to make up for here. He finds a neutral air, gets a quick 14. 14? Oh my from the god, neutral. bro. Yo, he brought the center to the ledge. If I were a little bit, I'd be screaming. I mean, this is game three, right? If you want that extra point, it's super important here. Oh, yeah. He's got to watch this how he comes back on the stage. I like that. Even though it doesn't hit Goblin there, the fact that it causes him to hold shield buys Roombra enough time to come back on the stage. What a great punish from Goblin right there, catching the down tilt. Oh, my God. Not one of those neutral Bs has connected just yet. Not one of those aerials from Goblin not connecting yet. Because Roombra is trying to play a little bit tricky with those side stalls. Oh, he's got to stop rolling from the ledge. Goblin oh. has been fighting that every time. Back oh, there air. it is, yep. Jab to back air, confirming yet again. And Goblin moving up 2-1 now here against Lumbre. It's those rolls from the ledge, man. I'm telling you, he's scared of that ledge because he knows how Roy loves to play it. This is so close, man. man Lumbre, Lumbre, he doesn't have any characters. I know he doesn't. I've never seen him play another character. Ness mains are like the most dedicated breed, dude. <laughs> Straight up. I don't see Ness mains, and it's like their character isn't even Yoshi considered. Mains. I have never met a Yoshi main. You right. Yoshi and then mains are also has a secondary. I'm sorry, I've never right. seen that in my life. Can you imagine a Yoshi, a Yoshi Ness co main? <laughs> right. Like I, I, it's either like die hard, die hard, like you know Yoshi, or, or oh there it is. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. If this is a lead for Lumbre, this is definitely yeah, one of those massive. Leads. And he's going to need this one because he is an entire game down right now. So he needs yeah. all the momentum you get right here. Dude, he went for the back throw. That put a, may, maybe put him on the platform, you know? <laughs> that back throw still matters, though, because he has a down smash setup because he knows, okay, hold on. Edge guard here, I'll take that right away. Yeah. Those edge guards are important for Ness, even if it's not a kill. Oh, my God, bro. Come on. 33%. Lumbre is still on his first stock. <laughs> we're going to game five. Lumbre strikes back. Oh, we're going to game five, bro. Lumbre, Lumbre strikes back. That's literally what it is. All right. All right. I, I, I need to settle down. I can't count Goblin out. After all, he is the high caliber player that he is. He can make this comeback. You remember Star Wars? The Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> yeah, of course. There's, a, there's an E in the Empire, and there's an I in the Inland. <laughs> and I'm letting you right now. The Inland Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> the Inland Empire Strikes Back, bro. All right. How's Goblin going to bring this back? He's definitely going to have to pull. Oh, Ooh, nice. the ledge. Okay, but the thing here is that he wanted him to try to approach. Yeah. And what, what ended up happening was Goblin approached. Yeah. And, and he ended up losing the stock forward. I think Lumbre was willing to uh, take that risk because he, you know, if Goblin wasn't extremely careful, that grab, if he grabbed on that platform, a back throw would have KO'd. So... You know, it was worth it to lose that stock. And he won with two stocks yeah. anyway. I'm telling you, man. The Inland Empire strikes back. <laughs> it strikes back hard. Baby, game number five. I love it, dude. Game five between... Uh, didn't we, we saw game five. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, we did. Game fives, game fives all around. All right, well, Lumbre's last chance to continue on from Loser's semi to Loser's finals. Papa Razo in the background, man, watching his boy grow. Let's see how things go, man. I talked about how game four was in the He's proud as hell, dude. Yeah, I'd, I'd be proud, <laughs> too. I'd be you're proud, looking at his face, man. He's, He's proud as hell, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. Game, game four was the Inland Empire Strikes Back. Let's see if, if this is the return of the Inland Empire right here. Oh, let's get it. All right, game number five, moving on to what, Pokemon what, Stadium What better two. song to put up for game five? Yeah. Seriously, this is actually the hype bringer right here. All right, gotta stop watching those rolls here. Last game, that did not happen. Bloomberg with a lot of control. He's gotta start adapting from that. Okay, I like that. This time, it's only to get stage positioning. PK fires, so finds himself back on stage. PK Thunder. That was so scary. I am so sorry because you know that that double edge dance would have been death for that nest. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lumbre still maneuvering around Goblin pretty carefully, as carefully as he can. Oh, the directional air dodge is so long. Yeah. Oh, we oh. let go of that down smash a little too late, man. Lumbre right. may be a little shook. I don't know. I mean, I would be too, right? The way that Goblins are playing around Lumbre. Nice. All right, catching the very tip of the dash attack right there. Yeah. Back air. Oh, there's a little bit of pop off in, <laughs> in Goblin here. Oh, yeah, and he's trying to take as many, uh, the first stock, as quickly as possible. Oh, look at his damage. 
Air dodge is not going to be able to get that grab. This is the first time I see Lumbre go for oh. the PK Thunder to actually stop uh, Goblin from coming back on the stage. Okay. Was, okay, so he, I feel like he showed his bad to see if he get him on the back air, but unfortunately, like, he was up B. Yeah, up, up B, he's definitely uh, using that move a lot more. It's not going to kill right here, jab the back air, but is racking up so much oh, damage. Oh, nice. snakes in the up air. Olive was not ready for that one. Down tilt and looking for a tech case here. We see that movement from Roy coming up pretty crisp. Okay, nice forward air into the grab. Tries to set up the down smash by the ledge. Big damage right here for Lumbre. 51%. For our Goblin right, returning center stage is really crucial. We know how that's been paying dividends these past few games. Yeah. The Goblin is definitely starting to press this up B a lot more. Jab to oh, up air. Man, what a catch on the DI in right there. Smart stuff by Goblin. Advancing yet another stock. Down to it. Okay. I like that this time he takes the time. No rolls. Neutral get up. See how I can come back on the stage. He sees the spacing from Goblin. Hopefully not a little too late. If Moonbrae is going to steal stock here, this is the opportunity here, but this is the opportunity for Goblin to understand. I have this just a little bit on the ropes. I got to slow my roll here. Oh my god, all right, he's going to jump away from it that time. Not going to try to lose his stock to that. I mean, it's 107%, so there's a lot of damage already on him. Oh, that, that roll, ooh, that roll, it's costing him here, and Goblin understands. All right, Moonbrae yeah. falling apart a little bit right here. Can't. Take any more stray hits. There's that sour hit of forward tilt. Back at the ledge. Neutral get up slowly looking to ease in on the middle here. Goblin has to control center stage if he wants to take the stock. But any oh! oh! Yo, why, my man, why'd you roll? He why reeled you? back in his chair, too. All right. He asked himself, why did I roll in the first place? All right, Lumbre trying to make this comeback. Ah. Yeah, it's the side stall. It's yep. the side stall. Goblin had made the adaptation Flourish. from it. Yeah, that move is really like tricky, and especially like in the beginning parts of the matchup, if you're playing.